In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on October 17, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Colorado Avalanche vs. Seattle Kraken The Seattle Kraken have had a challenging start to the 2023-2024 season, losing all three of their games and only scoring a total of two goals during those contests. In their most recent game against the St. Louis Blues, they reached a shootout but couldn't secure a victory. The Kraken's offense has been struggling, and they will need to find a way to get it going. Defense will also be essential for them. On the other hand, the Colorado Avalanche have played two games so far this season and have won both of them. They defeated the Los Angeles Kings 5-2 in their first game and won 2-1 in a shootout against the San Jose Sharks in their last game. Their defense has been impressive, and in the most recent game, Cal Makar had a significant impact with one goal and five shots on goal. While the Kraken managed to beat the Avalanche once at home in overtime during last season's regular meetings, they were outscored 12-7 during the three games played at Climate Pledge Arena. The Avalanche also have a strong record on the road, winning at an impressive 70% clip away from their home home stadium in 2022-2023. Based on their recent performances and the Kraken's offensive struggles, it appears that these two teams are heading in different directions early in the season. The Colorado Avalanche are in good form and are especially strong on defense. On the other hand, the Kraken are struggling to find success offensively, making this a challenging matchup for them. The cheap price offered for the Avalanche money line makes them an attractive pick, so the Colorado Avalanche money line is our full game side pick. In addition to their struggles offensively, both teams have been strong on the penalty kill, and recent history suggests a low-scoring affair. Each of the last four regular season meetings between the Avalanche and the Kraken has gone under the total, with none of those games seeing more than five goals scored. The under is also 10-1 to in their previous 11 meetings overall, including their seven-game first-round playoff series in the 2023 Stanley Cup. Given the Kraken's offensive struggles heading into this game and Colorado's strong defensive performance, it's likely that this will be a lower scoring game. Expect the under to hit once more. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Carolina Hurricanes vs. San Jose Sharks Following a tough 6-3 loss to the Anaheim Ducks, the Carolina Hurricanes seek redemption as they face off against the San Jose Sharks, who are smarting from a 2-1 shootout loss to the Colorado Avalanche. The Hurricanes aim to rebound from their recent defeat against the Ducks, where they conceded six goals, resulting in a three-goal loss. Notably, Tuvo Teravainen had a strong performance, netting two goals and taking three shots. In their two victories, the Hurricanes scored a total of 11 goals, highlighting their offensive prowess. On the flip side, the Sharks have faced early season struggles in their first two games. In their last match against the Avalanche, they managed to score just one goal, resulting in a one-goal loss. So far this season, the Sharks have only scored two goals in total, emphasizing the urgency to revitalize their offense. The Carolina Hurricanes are determined to rebound after their recent setback. Tuvo Teravainen, with four goals this season, is in peak form and poses a significant offensive threat. The Hurricanes have demonstrated resilience in bouncing back from losses. Although Frederick Anderson has posted a goals against average of 3.84 and a save percentage of .867, his experience makes him capable of turning things around. The Hurricanes boast a balanced attack and the potential for strong goaltending, which gives them an edge. They will aim to exploit any weaknesses in the Sharks' defense and take advantage of special teams. In recent times, the Hurricanes have secured wins in two of their last three games, showcasing their offensive prowess by scoring 14 goals. However, their special teams, particularly the power play, have room for improvement, with a conversion rate of only 10%. On the defensive side, they've been successful in killing penalties. On the other hand, the Sharks have 
face difficulties in preventing opponents from scoring, conceding six goals over two games. They have also struggled on the power play, failing to convert any opportunities. Despite the Hurricanes' recent offensive challenges, they've excelled in penalty killing and are poised to stifle San Jose's offense, which has struggled thus far. The Carolina Hurricanes enter this game with an impressive offensive record, having notched 11 goals in just three games. Chilo Teravainen, their top scorer with four goals, is a standout player to watch. In contrast, the San Jose Sharks have experienced offensive woes, scoring only two goals this season. This stark contrast in offensive firepower gives the Hurricanes a distinct advantage, especially considering the Sharks' limited scoring depth. While goaltending can be a game-changer, the Hurricanes, led by Frederick Anderson, offer a more balanced team. Although Anderson's stats may not be top-notch, he has the experience and has already secured two wins this season. The Hurricanes have a more effective power play, converting at a rate of 20%, in contrast to the Sharks, whose power play has yet to find success. To summarize, the Hurricanes possess the offensive firepower and defensive capabilities to secure a victory in this matchup, so the Carolina Hurricanes to win and cover the spread is favorable is our full game side pick. In terms of scoring, the Hurricanes average 4.66 goals per game and 4.5 goals per game on the road. However, they have averaged 3 goals per game in their last 3 encounters against the Sharks. San Jose, which has conceded an average of 3 goals per game in its first 2 games, is likely to limit the Hurricanes to below their average in this matchup. The Sharks, who have averaged just 1 goal per game in their first 2 games, previously averaged 2 goals per game in their last 3 games against the Hurricanes. Although the Hurricanes conceded 6 goals in their recent recent outing, they aim to tighten their defense. On the flip side, the Sharks are eager to capitalize. With players like Chivo Teravainen for the Hurricanes and Thomas Bordalo for the Sharks in good scoring form, we anticipate a high-scoring game. Both teams are hungry for a win, setting the stage for an open, attacking game with numerous scoring opportunities. Given the vulnerabilities in both teams' defensive play, a high-scoring game is likely. With the Hurricanes allowing an average of five and a half goals per game on the road, the Sharks are expected to score enough to push the total past the projected number. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Dallas Stars vs. Vegas Golden Knights The Vegas Golden Knights are gearing up to face the Dallas Stars, a Western Conference rival, on Tuesday night. The Stars initiated their season with a thrilling shootout win over the St. Louis Blues, emerging victorious with a 2-1 scoreline at home. In contrast, the Golden Knights have commenced their campaign in a formidable fashion, securing three consecutive 4-1 victories as they begin their title defense. This showdown serves as a rematch of last season's Western Conference Final Series. The Golden Knights have showcased their medal this season, winning all three of their games thus far. They've consistently notched 4-1 victories in each of their initial three games. While their offense may draw attention, their defense has been equally commendable. In their recent bout against the Anaheim Ducks, they maintained a clean sheet until the third period. Notable performances include Chandler Stephenson with one goal and two assists, Jack Eichel contributing with a goal and an assist, and goaltender Adden Hall, who saved 22 out of 23 shots faced. On the other side, the Stars have participated in just one game this season, where they narrowly clinched a 2-1 triumph against the St. Louis Blues. However, their offensive performance in that game left much to be desired, resulting in a 2-1 shootout victory. Notable individual contributions included Jamie Benn's one goal and four shots on goal and Jake Odinger making 23 saves out of 24 shots. To secure a win in the upcoming game, the Stars must elevate their offensive game beyond what was demonstrated in their previous outing. Looking back at last season's regular season series, the Stars emerged victorious in all four matchups. However, they were unable to prevail when it mattered most, as the Golden Knights secured a Western Conference final win after going up 3-0. In terms of preparation, the Stars enter this game with nearly a week's rest after having played only one game. In contrast, the Golden Knights have had the opportunity to ease into their season, currently boasting a 3-0 against the spread record. Although six out of the ten meetings between these teams last season were decided by a single goal, including several overtime games and three shootouts, the Stars may run out of steam due to their limited game time. So the Vegas Golden Knights money line is our full game side pick. When it comes to the total points scored, last season saw the under prevail in 7 out of 10 games, with an average of 5 total goals per game. So far this season, both teams have demonstrated strong defenses and goal
goaltending, each allowing just one goal in all their games. In the previous season, the Stars boasted the third best goals against average in the NHL at 2.62, while the Golden Knights ranked 11th with a 2.74 goals against average. The strong defensive performances seen thus far indicate that both teams are likely to have top 10 defenses in the current season, setting the stage for an intense contest as they feel each other out in their first meeting. The under has been dominant, with a 12-4-1 record in the last 17 meetings. Furthermore, the under has prevailed in six of the last seven regular season encounters between Dallas and Vegas. Only one of these seven matchups witnessed more than five goals. Additionally, the under trend continues, with a 5-1 record in Vegas' last six games and an impeccable 8-0 record in the Golden Knights' previous eight October contests. This game is poised to feature elite goaltenders. Both teams exhibited robust defensive performances in the previous regular season, and a similar trend is expected this time around. The Stars limited the Blues to 24 shots in their season opener, and the Golden Knights have yet to concede a power play goal this season. The game is likely to be a goaltending battle, with both teams renowned for their defensive prowess and a history of postseason matchups. Anticipate an intense and low-scoring contest. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.